Wow. That thing is loud. Oh. Oh. There goes the uh, reading. Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner, Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. This is probably the fastest this hard drive will ever go. Basically what I've done is I've hooked up the brushless motor inside the hard drive to an ESC that's typically used for RC planes and such. This one I've actually used in an RC plane that I built before. This is how the ESC is wired up. I basically just cut this piece of ribbon cable that goes to the motor that usually supplies it. And I soldered in place these three wires, which go to the three wires on the ESC. This should work for most hard drive motors. That is then powered by my bench power supply, which goes all the way up to 30 volts. And this function generator is connected to the ESC to drive it with a PWM signal to control the speed. On top of the hard disk is a piece of paper with a black triangle and two LEDs sitting above it. This is to measure the speed. The first LED, the clear one, is an infrared LED being driven by a battery through a resistor. The second LED is an infrared phototransistor. It's black, and this is connected through a 10K resistor to the battery as well. We are measuring the voltage across that resistor with an oscilloscope. This way, we will get a changing voltage across the resistor that is dependent on whether or not this black triangle is situated underneath the infrared phototransistor. By gauging the frequency at which this voltage changes, we will be able to calculate the RPM that this hard drive is spinning at. To start up the motor, I will first set this function generator to a square wave at 5 volt amplitude at 100 hertz at a duty cycle of 99.9%. When I connect it to my power supply, you can hear the motor start beeping, and I will crank this down to about 10%. The motor beeps happily, and we are now able to start the hard drive spinning. As you can see, the hard drive is now spinning. The duty cycle is 12.3%, so it's not going very fast. And we have a waveform on the oscilloscope over there. As you can see, when I change the frequency at which the motor spins, the waveform changes. When the motor spins faster, the frequency increases. When the motor spins slower, the frequency decreases. Right now, it's spinning at 132 hertz. So to find the RPM of this motor, we just multiply that by 60. That means right now, the motor is spinning at approximately 7,800 RPM. That is approximately how fast this hard drive spins normally. Nominally, this kind of hard drive spins at around 7,200 RPM. All right, enough with this. Let's run the hard drive up to full speed. I'm wearing safety goggles because you never know what's going to happen when this thing runs up to somewhere around 50,000 RPM. This right now is spinning at the max speed that it can go when it's at 11.5 volts. It's currently drawing one amp of current, and it's spinning at about 20,000 RPM. But we can do better than that. Now is when things really get scary. That thing is loud! Oh. Oh. There goes the uh, reading. We are currently looking at the final waveform that triggered on the oscilloscope before the piece of paper flew off. And you can see that it was going at 859 hertz. That means that right when the piece of paper came off, this thing was going at 51,000 RPM. That's crazy. That's over six times 
the speed this hard drive is rated to go at. Attention passengers, your flight will be taking off shortly. Starting engines. Taxiing to the runway. All right, initiate takeoff. That's not a happy sound. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I broke the ESC.